Eric Eiding here live in the Digital Health Summit studio here at CES. I have Camille Adamczyk here from IntelliClinic. Hello. And welcome. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for inviting me. So tell us about IntelliClinic. What is it you guys do? So basically we are a hardware development house. We are focusing on uh, wearable sensors and uh, we are focusing uh, right now closely uh, on the sleep uh, technology. So uh, we are a producer of Neuron Sleep Mask. Um, the, the mask that track your brain make during the sleep and then provide the light therapy, new approach to light therapy, which is a medical therapy, in order to help you sleep better. So we help you move your body clock. So the device help you with jet lag, help you work at night and fall asleep faster uh, if you have a problem in falling, in falling asleep. Wow, that's really great. And now you were telling me that you're coming here from Europe, right? Yeah, so, so I came here from Europe where our factories are located. Uh, so I've been using this for the whole time. So fortunately, uh, my jet lag is really reduced. So I'm not waking up at, at, at 4 a.m. <laughs> that's really great. You know, and I, I think that sleep is sort of this like underappreciated thing when we're talking about you know, some of the technology and, and some of the opportunities in, in, uh, in, in health where, where uh, you know, digital health is able to, to assist us. So I mean, I think it's really kind of exciting to be talking about something like that and something we all struggle with right is trying yeah. to get more sleep yeah. so excellent. and this, this topic is really undiscovered right now so we are learning more and more and more and uh, right now we could very accurately attract uh, our sleep but uh, the biggest challenge is to uh, make it better to affect our sleep and to control our sleep this is this is the goal for the next few years. I think that's everybody's question too, right? Now that we're able to collect all this data that we weren't able to collect before, what do you do with it, right? And how can, yeah. you, how can you use that to make things better? Yeah, sure. Where do you see the market going in, in the next few years? What's on the horizon? What are the exciting things that we should be looking out for? Yeah, so personalization. So um, the devices that tracking our data needs to understand us and uh, needs to like uh, be our best friend, not like a general friend. So, mm -hmm. so personalization and then um, therapy. So, Tracking is not enough. Uh, people expect to be treated to, to feel better. So I think this is uh, where devices and personal uh, wearables will go uh, in the next couple of years. Excellent. Sounds really exciting. So talk to us about how we can get more information about your company. Where can we go? So you could go to neuron.com. So it's uh, neuron like a brain cells, uh, but with double O. So neuron. Got it. Uh, dot com. And uh, you could learn more about our sleep mask. You could um, purchase the sleep mask through the website as well. Excellent. Very good. Camila Domchik, I'm Eric Eiding, live in the Digital Health Summit studio. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.